Famcast Media. Bitch. I try to find my, try to find my, try to find my way, but I'm terrified inside, getting lost in the gray. I try to find my, try to find my, try to find my way, but I'm terrified of change, getting lost in the gray. I send it lost in the tide when they toss me aside, but I'm back and I'm ready to ride. I'm all shine, never doubt the kid. I'm all about the shit. If life is a bitch, then I'll smack the bitch. I my sword, get my mind ready. I've been here before, but it's way more deadly. Good morning, demons and demonesses. Haven't seen you guys in quite a while, but, um, got some crazy news to share with you guys today. Um, I actually haven't done a story like this in a very, very long time. I think the last story I did on Satanists and whatnot was removed by YouTube, I believe, or maybe not. I'm not even sure. It's been quite a long time, and I don't even remember myself. But, um, I was scrolling through, would you believe it or not, YouTube. And of all the crazy things I see, RT posted this weird story. Now, the headline of this is, with up to 30 Russians a year, falling prey to bloodthirsty Satanist covens, experts warn, as devil worshippers confess to ritual murders. Now, I've never heard of something like this before, and actually I tried Googling it, and well, it's really hard to like get any results on Google so I just went straight to the RT website and I just got this so I'm gonna read for you guys this article um, let's get through this together speaking to RIA Novorovsky on Tuesday Roland Sianetyev the deputy chairman of the Russian the Russian Ministry of Justice Advisory Council on Religion said that people should be aware of the risk the likelihood of becoming a victim of Satanists is small but it is not zero 20 to 30 people a year can become their victims, he said. According to him, the groups usually evade detection by hunting down homeless people and those without a fixed abode, ensnaring them for occult ceremonies. Gangs of Satanists who are engaged in ritual murders have repeatedly repeatedly been identified in near Moskirich, Rybinskia, in the Tula region. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. I very bad at pronouncing Russian. Unfortunately, this is a sad norm for our lives. Satanists have existed before and they will continue to exist, the specialist added. Vaktain Kipchidisye, a top official in Moscow's Orthodox Church, said that the satanic movement remains a breeding ground for criminals. According to him, authorities and society need to think about how to protect people from the propaganda of Satanism on the internet. The stark warnings come after two Russian devil worshippers confessed last week to luring two 27-year-old friends out of the forest of Karelia, in the country's remote north, murdering them and eating their corpses as part of a twisted ritual. Andrei Trekbuenko and Olga Bolshakova were initially detained on drug charges before admitting to investigators that they had committed the slayings back in 2016. Police probing the case after the pair's shocking admission later found dismembered remains of one victim in a woodland area of St. Petersburg. The family of the murdered youngsters apparently had been searching for years for their missing children. While the whereabouts of their bodies was known only to the killers, in 2010, a pair of self-described Russian Goths were convicted of killing and cannibalizing a 16-year-old schoolgirl, Karina Budachev. The duo, Maxim Glavtyevskich and Yuri Moskosnov were sentenced to nearly two decades each in high security prison colonies, with the prosecutor describing their actions as monstrous. Now, reading this article, you notice that there's a lot of contradictions. First, they say Satanist, then they say devil worshiper. Now, to those that aren't aware exactly what Satanism is, Satanists don't worship the devil. We are an atheistic religion. Um, we don't do any, you know, 
You know, Satanism is an atheistic religion. It involves really no, it requires no worship of any devils. In fact, Satanists don't really believe in anything of the supernatural. No gods, no devils, no demons, no leprechauns, no unicorns, um, nothing else like that. So basically what I'm getting from this is that whoever wrote the article has probably no idea what they're talking about. Now, like I said, devil, if you actually believe in a, in a devil, you are a devil worshiper. But you are not a Satanist. There's no such thing as a Satanist that worships the devil because that is an oxymoron. You can't be an atheist and then worship something that doesn't fucking exist. And to be honest with you with the way Russia is, because, you know, Russia is a pretty conservative country and a pretty Christian country. Chances are this is probably another rehashal of the Satanic Panic movement that we saw in the United States back in the 80s. Now they say 20 to 30 Russians a year. I'm, I seriously doubt that many people are being killed each year, and I doubt that most of it has anything to do with Satanism. Like I said, could be serial killers, could be, you know, mass murderers or anything like that. But Satanists, it's highly unlikely that Satanists would be doing this type of activity in Russia or in any country, mind you. And, you know, this isn't the first time that, you know, something like this has happened in Russia. Like, and I, I like you see towards the end they try to blame you know two goths when the thing is not even all goths are satanists you know you do have say, some goths that are satanists like i said you have some goths that are christian some goths that are, that are atheistic some goths that are that are jewish and buddhist and whatever you know it, it's a subculture you know you don't have to be a specific religion to you know like things that are goth but um back in the early 2000s uh the russian media tried to do the same thing with you know the whole emo subculture you know, when kids were, you know, getting coon tails and, you know, dyeing their hair certain colors, you know, a whole lot of, you know, religious propaganda was being spewed. Oh, don't let your kids do this. Your kids might be a secret devil worshiper. To many, it's just a song, but to some, it represents a lifestyle. Every day, 17-year-old Dima religiously follows the same routine with military precision necessary to achieve the goth look. His mantra? Better to provoke a negative reaction from the grey masses, as he terms them, than no reaction at all. It started as a kind of protest, becoming different to others, and I'll keep dressing like this. No government has the right to tell me what to do. Emo and goth music is a Western import, a genre that emerged in the US in the mid-80s, offering an emotional take on hardcore punk. And in Moscow, teenagers sporting long fringes and lip piercings have become a ubiquitous sight in the city's parks and metro stations. For me, emo began with the music, but grew into a new identity. I just wanted to stand out from the crowd. But in June, a piece of legislation proposed in the state Duma warned against dangerous teenage trends. It calls for stringent website regulation and dress codes in schools and public buildings. But our proposals are only concerned with their extreme manifestations, depression, social withdrawal, sometimes even suicide. Following her experience at a so-called emo camp, this teen agrees. I woke up in the middle of the night and saw someone cutting their veins. It made me really scared. But others say for the vast majority it's teenage birth pangs expressed through the age-old formula of fashion and music. Subcultures are about looks. They don't carry a serious meaning. There are no statistics or evidence to show that such teenagers are more likely to commit suicide than others. Dangerous trendsetters, troubled teens, alternative music lovers, or just slaves to fashion. However you class, Russia's growing band of floppy fringed emos and goss, one thing's for certain. Teenage angst and the pursuit of self-expression in all its forms is a rite of passage through which generations have and will continue to pass. Alice Hibbert, R. C. But you know, I don't really like saying this word, but this is just religious propaganda, a bunch of mumbo jumbo. And whoever wrote this article, like I said, clearly has no idea what they're talking about. Now, if you have your satanic Bibles with you, I want you guys to turn to the chapter of A Choice of a Human Sacrifice. Now, in the sixth paragraph, it says, Under no circumstance would a Satanist sacrifice any animal or baby. 
For centuries, propagandists of the right-hand path have been prattling over the supposed sacrifice of small children and voluptuous maidens at the hands of diabolists. It would be thought that anyone reading or hearing of these heinous accounts would immediately question their authenticity, taking into consideration the biased sources of the stories. On the contrary, as with all holy lies which are accepted without reservation, this absurd modus operandi of the Satanists persists to this day. There are sound and logical reasons why the Satanists would not perform such sacrifices. Man, the animal is the godhead to the Satanists. The purest form of carnal existence reposes in the bodies of animals and human children who have not grown old enough to deny themselves their natural desires. They can perceive things that the average adult human can never hope to. Therefore, the Satanist holds these beings in a sacred regard, knowing he can learn much from these natural magicians of the world. So to hammer this down once again, Satanists do not perform sacrifices. Satanists do not do ritual killings. If you know somebody that has done something like this, they are a devil worshiper. They are not a Satanist nor do they believe in Anton LaVey's ideology. But I hope you found this to be a little bit informative and enjoyable, planning on doing some more episodes about Satanism and you know, and if I hear any more about any of these crazy stories, and believe me there are a lot of them, I'll make sure that I'm here Bible in hand. Alright you guys, you have a great evening, stay safe, stay metal, hail Satan, and I'll catch you later.